Hi everyone, Steve here from Pacific Action. Welcome to the uh, first episode of Adventures with Pacific Action. Uh, today I'm actually uh, heading down to Matamata in the Waikato of New Zealand to visit the Viking Kayaks headquarters. Um, great team down there, Grant Montague and uh, Stephen Tapp you might be familiar with. And uh, so yeah, I'm just about to leave Auckland. Uh, went to uh, the uh, Roof Rack Centre at Canoe and Kayak in uh, Constellation on the North Shore uh, yesterday and the team very helpfully uh, fitted up a brand new Wisp Bar system um, to my Subaru Legacy and uh, installed a Rhino Rack Cradle system uh, to make transporting the kayak a bit easier. So uh, as I mentioned in my recent Facebook post, uh, we're actually going to be using a Viking Profish Reload as our official demonstrator boat uh, moving forward. So uh, you're very much looking forward to uh, getting my hands on that. And uh, yeah, just um, we'll provide an update shortly. Uh, just want to give you a quick look at the uh, roof rack system. So, as you can see, the most aerodynamic bars designed in New Zealand system. And uh, it's basically a, a rhino rack cradle with soft pads that you can basically flip the kayak onto. Uh, that's clamped down onto the bars there. So, the uh, Pro fish is about 75 centimeters wide, so I've uh, got this pretty set up. But yeah, it's very easy to adjust with a little uh, key. I'll we'll sort that out once we get down there. So it's going to take me about two and a half hours to get there. Cheers. Well, we're just going over the top of the Bombay Hills now, which is the um, range that divides uh, Auckland from Waikato. So you get a great view from up here. Take a look at this. So it's uh, mainly farmland, and uh, from uh, here, <laughs> pretty much right down to, to Wellington, um, with a few other major towns. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a pretty grey, uh, windy day today. It's about 30 knot westerly, uh, getting buffered around a little bit. The um, interesting to note is that. Uh, this roof racks uh, aerod aerodynamically designed to um, basically provide the least amount of drag. So I'm pretty sure from the stats that I've seen, uh, there's only one newton meter of drag force um, on the wisp bar, which is really good. Uh, it's probably one of the best ones on the market. So you, so you get a little bit more with the rider rack cradles there, but it's, it's extremely quiet. And I haven't noticed any uh, performance um, degradation um, on the driving as well. So, yeah, we're just about to uh, turn off left here to um, the Coromandel and uh, Tauranga. And uh, pretty much uh, with one, one turn, this will take us all the way to Matamata. So, so, we're about, um, about a third of the way there now. So, we're about 50k out of uh, just away from Matamata at the moment. Uh, getting deep into the uh, farming heartland of the Waikato. So I just wanted to uh, show you uh, a bit of a view from up here. So uh, basically what we're looking at is the Hauraki Plains. And this used to be uh, all swamp land that was drained for farming uh, about a hundred years ago. And in the distance uh, you can see what they call the Kaimai Ranges. So that's another um, a uh, big range that separates the, the coast on the other side from uh, you know the, this drained farmland. So there's a, a big lake you can probably see um, down in the, with uh, native um, yeah, swamp land and whatnot that's been left as a reserve right in the middle there. And as you sort of go north, you know, it's going to become uh, the Coromandel Range. So there's a big Zealand, a lot of cows. Um, yeah, again, uh, you know, pretty overcast today, but it's still still pretty nice. So, yeah. 
should be in uh, bed better in about half an hour or so, I'd say. I'll pop down there with some ducks in it. Pretty lucky to live in this beautiful country. I'm not sure. I just thought I'd show you this. It's uh, good down on the Haraki Plains proper now. And uh, it's got a great shot of the Kaimai Range in the background. You can see how flat the plains are relative to the mountain range. Uh, we've just basically got that uh, nature swamp area um, off to the left. So, yeah, take a look at this. myself a pie. So yeah, whenever I uh, venture out of Auckland in the country, I like to find myself a uh, local bakery and uh, sample uh, one of their pies. I find that the uh, <laughs> pies are pretty good outside of Auckland. Man. What you might say, a weakness for uh, good pie and sausage roll. So, See what uh, Mad Mad has to offer before we go and uh, pick up the reload. Yeah, so the pies are uh, looking pretty good here. Uh, a little bit cheaper than one book too, which is nice. But, uh, the old uh, steak, mushroom, and cheese. And uh, what they're calling a Kiwi Whopper sausage rolls, which uh, looks pretty damn good to me. So, here we go. Well, that was definitely one of the better pies and sausage rolls that I had in a while. Uh, the uh, Kiwi Whopper apparently is mashed potato with, uh, you know, combined into your standard sausage roll. So that was something new and uh, quite enjoyable. So yeah, uh, mad props to the uh, bakery in the uh, main street of Matter Matter here. So yeah, uh, I'm just going to go and uh, get the pro fish now. Uh, here we are at Viking Kayaks in the first street of Matter Matter. As you can see, uh, Impressive selection lined up along here on the wall. As we are around the meat, I grab the team. Here we are inside the uh, Blanky Kayaks factory and his showroom. Nice little bit of present from Copenhagen there. I uh, thought that might be appropriate. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's obviously uh, some beautiful, beautiful kayaks. I can't say enough about the quality of Viking really. And, uh, Here's a um, uh, Pro Fish Reloads, the same, same one I've ever done. There she is, the new baby. Looking nice. Well, we're all fitted up here and uh, got my Viking Kayaks cap on. <laughs> Proud supporter. And uh, yeah, we've got the um, reload uh, nicely positioned on the cradles and all strapped down. So. Hopefully, they won't come off. <laughs> And uh, yeah, looking forward to getting home and trying to beat the Auckland traffic, which is due to start in about an hour. So uh, yeah, it's been a productive day and yeah, looking forward to getting out on the water. Looks like the uh, boat has moved, <laughs> that's something. So uh, yeah, next episode will be uh, fitting the sail to the boat and then hopefully getting out with a bit of a thrash. Um, hope you've enjoyed little uh, first episode and uh, we will uh, see you again soon. Cheers.